Hello and welcome to Priestfield, where League Two leaders Gillingham host Chesterfield in one of the day's early kickoffs. It is a welcome return home for the Jills, who haven't played in front of their own fans since the opening day of the campaign. Chesterfield, meanwhile, back in the EFL, confident of making a good showing. Today's game should give us a big clue as to their prospects this season also. Berry, what a super start to the season for the Spyrites. And he wins a free kick in very dangerous territory. Very encouraging start to the game by the away side. Berry, the latest to stretch the Gillingham defence, is brought down by Armani Little. Opportunity this for Chesterfield if they get it right. It's Old Acre. Oh, tremendous effort! And somehow kept out on the rebound. Will Grigg coming in on it. And Gillingham survives somehow. Almost perfect this from the former Gillingham man. Glenn Morris beaten all ends up. And you have to say that is very unfortunate. I'm only little. He kicked to Gillingham this time as George Lapsley goes down. Some ironic cheers from the crowd here. Who feel that very few decisions have gone their way so far. Jack Nolan will look to deliver a telling ball for Gillingham here. Only one league goal conceded Gillingham. They haven't let one in since opening day. And yet twice they could have been breached in the opening five or six minutes. Here's their first opportunity to put pressure on the Chesterfield goal. It's Nolan's delivery, it's deep, and Gillingham lead! Robbie McKenzie arriving with perfect timing, and Gillingham, who have had two very big escapes at the other end, have struck the opening goal completely against the run of play. A very well-worked set-piece for Gillingham. Nolan's delivery here, absolutely spot on. McKenzie goes around the back, no one goes with him. And that header is just about perfection. It won't win any goals to the season awards, that particular effort, but it was very well worked by Gillingham. They got it spot on all round. Chesterfield will be absolutely sick to the stomach, having come so close themselves on a couple of occasions. And here come the home side again. Off the post, I think it was. Marcus Wiley, the debutant. Good work from McKenzie. And Wiley here. Was it goalkeeper or was it post? It was goalkeeper, I think. Ryan Boot got something on it. Kande. Not quite getting away, but doing well enough. Little touch towards Dobra. Oh, against the post. And Berry can't get onto the rebound. It's the second time that they've struck the frame of the goal in the opening 23 minutes here, Chesterfield. Dobra with room to turn. That's one challenge. And then is halted by the second. Same, uh, I think it was that brought him down. Well, to stay on his feet initially, but there was no riding that tackle from Aimer. Yellow card for the Gillingham skipper. Little to Max Clark. Oh, that's dangerous. And the glancing header off the post. George Lapsley so unlucky. 
And second goal at this stage. Could well have guaranteed victory for Gillingham. And now there's a real problem. Because that's Aimer, I think. And he's already on a yellow card, isn't he? Max Aimer, the Gillingham skipper, went thundering in on James Berry. There's the second yellow card, it means red. And the Gills will have to play 30 minutes, plus stoppages without their skipper, and more significantly, with only 10 men. Berry will take the free kick. And a huge advantage now for Chesterfield. Berry's delivery, dangerous! And just tipped away by Morris, was it? This one could have gone straight in from James Berry. In the end, I don't think there was a touch from the goalkeeper. Naylor. It's Oli Banks. It's Markande. And Dobra can't finish. Gilliam getting everyone back behind the ball and somehow smuggling it to safety. Just over 20 minutes left in the 90. Chesterfield once again threatening an equaliser. Shad Ogie with the clearance this time. We have seen a really good game here today. Chesterfield frustrated once again. Here's Dobra. That's not a bad pass either. Goalkeeper didn't get there. Oh, and off the bar from Naylor. This is unbelievable. Dobra can't finish. Berry can't finish. It is not going to be Chesterfield's day. They have done everything but score. Naylor crashing one onto the crossbar. With Gillingham completely on the ropes. They have now hit the frame of the goal three times, Chesterfield. Gillingham are running on empty now, I think. They're having to suffer here to hold Chesterfield at bay. They've played more than half an hour with only ten men. But they'll get a free kick for that. Yellow card for Che Dunkley. Who couldn't deal with the bulk of Josh Andrews. Gillingham come away with it, Jaden Clark. Possession, all important now for Gillingham. There's one for Andrews to get after. Boot looked uncomfortable. And then Andrews goes down under the challenge of Dunkley. Oh, that's a red card, his second yellow. The second player to receive quick fire cautions in this game. And he has to go. Che Dunkley cannot believe it, and I think he might be a little bit unlucky here. Goalkeeper Boot got in a muddle. He doesn't do much wrong there, does he, Dunkley? I certainly don't think it warranted a yellow card. He's got to go forward. But there's no time for Chesterfield. Gillingham have held out under huge pressure. The ten men hanging on to the clean sheet and extending their terrific start to the season. Astonishing and entertaining spectacle at Freesfield. It finishes Gillingham 1, Chesterfield 0.